Hello, I'm Don, one of the techs here at Photodon, and I'm here today to show you how to properly install your computer monitor hood on your monitor. Some people who are watching this video may wonder what the benefits are to having a computer monitor hood. By reducing the amount of ambient light hitting the surface of the screen, you improve the screen image. Other people purchase the hood for privacy issues, such as in testing facilities or um, in medical type situations. Also, people with color critical applications, such as desktop publishing, like to buy our monitor hoods with the calibration door in the top. This is an optional um, feature that's available on our website. Let's take a look at our new improved features of our hood. Some of the key benefits of our new hood are a new, more durable outside material. The uh, top now has a slot in it, so you can make some small adjustments to the width. We have a more durable elastic cord for a stronger attachment. And on the inside we have the material is a light absorbing gray. Now let's look at what's in the box. When you receive your hood, it comes packaged in the Photodon box like this. Inside you'll find your hood that is shrink wrapped and everything that you need is included in the package. The parts inside the package include your instructions, the angle brackets, a lens cleaner that's used to clean the surface of the monitor hood when you install your silicon buttons or the light blocking foam tape. Okay, let's get started with your installation. One of the first things you want to do is make sure that the hood is the proper size for your monitor. You can do this by opening it up and placing it on the monitor and checking to see if it's either too short or too long. In this case, we have a small gap on the left side. So what we'll do is make a small adjustment. To adjust the hood, Loosen the top knobs and you'll want to slide these two top pieces. In this case, I want to make it a little bit smaller. Tighten the knobs back down. Make sure the uh, elastic cord is looped around the knobs. Place the hood back onto the monitor with the cords to the back side. Place it back on in place. Next, pull the side out, grab the cord with your finger, and loop it around to the front. You want to do the same thing on the opposite side. Pull the cord around the corner, and your cords should look like this on the back side. Next, you'll note that there's a series of holes on the bottom corners. This is to allow for different monitor types. And uh, so you'll have to decide if your elastic cord needs to be moved either forward or backwards or up and down in order to create this approximate 45 degree angle with the cord here. Next we'll want to tighten the elastic cord mount. Do this by pulling the elastic cord through like this, taking the cord lock and moving it to the hood. 
Next is an optional step if you're having an issue where the cord slipping off the corner. You can take your Zeiss wipe and clean the surface and then apply a silicon button to either the back surface here or to the bottom of your monitor. Next you want to install the brackets along the top edge, either here or along the sides, approximately four to six inches from the corners, so that when you take the hood off and fold it, you'll be able to. Take the uh, red liner off the adhesive on one of your brackets, take the non-adhesive side, place it against your monitor, and then push it up until you meet the hood. Hold it for approximately 10 seconds to set the adhesive. Take the second ad little support bracket, remove the adhesive liner, place it against the monitor, and then up so it adheres to the monitor hood. The next step is optional. But if you notice a light gap at the top of the monitor, you can close that up using your foam tape. Take your tape and measure the size of tape that you might need. Cut it with your scissors. Next, remove the hood. and apply the foam tape to the top of the monitor, making sure that you don't block any vents. Come in, put your hood back on, making note of your new top support brackets. And that takes care of your light gap. A few monitor types have a very weak hinge and the, and the hood will cause the monitor to drift down. On some of the monitors we only offer this, the hood in the slim 6 inch model. If you experience the same issue with your monitor Take a piece of packing material, foam, or other material, roll it to the proper size, and place it between the hood and the hood stand. That'll keep the hood from drifting back down. This completes the installation of your monitor hood. Now you can enjoy many years of improved screen viewing. We are the Hood Guys, and if you need more help with your installation, note the contact information at the end of the video. We offer a lot of different hoods on our site, but if we don't have the hood that you're looking for, you can custom bank it or custom order it directly off from our website. On behalf of the Photodod team, thank you for watching.